My beloved child, it is necessary to put your attention to something significant, which is why you are reading this. Someone is following you about and keeping an eye on your every step, and their motivations are not entirely good. This is a warning to you, not a threat. God is giving you this message at this very moment for a purpose, to shield you from a threat you might not be aware of. Their covert schemes are designed to disturb your tranquility or undermine your mission. However, nothing eludes my sight since I, your God, see everything. The Spirit is definitely and loudly telling you not to go anywhere on this particular day and time. I'm here to protect, warn, and advise you, God is always one step ahead of the enemy, who is constantly seeking new ways to attack setting up a means of escape for his kids. Pay close attention because the purpose of this message is to impart wisdom and give you the knowledge you need to stay safe and in harmony with my heavenly protection, not to arouse fear, God wishes to protect you from what is about to happen, which is why you are receiving this message right now. Evil frequently operates covertly, whispering plans into the hearts of people who have abandoned morality. Someone is interested in you because your light challenges their darkness, not because of your transgressions. Your path has garnered attention because it is brimming with purpose and truth. The ultimate guardian, God, never divulges anything without first providing you with a chance to stay safe. Their surveillance is an expression of their desire to thwart what I have planned for you, not just a physical act. As you read on, keep in mind that while God is watching over your life, He is also requesting that you exercise wisdom and pay close attention to what He says. Regardless of whether they employ technology, persuasion, or guile, keep in mind that no weapon devised against you shall prosper. My authority has already seen and stopped their intentions that I will never let anything happen to you without first providing you an opportunity to take action because he values your safety. I, being a God of perfect timing, I am speaking to you at this very moment because it demands your attention and action. Your carelessness or ignorance are frequently the foundation of the enemy's schemes, but I'm here to make sure you're neither. Their plans are scheduled to come to fruition at a certain time and day, a moment they think will catch you off guard. However, I am the one who transcends time, the Alpha and the Omega. If you follow the heavenly instruction you're about to receive, even though someone is following you everywhere, they can't hurt you. And I have already prepared a way of escape for you. And they're tracking you and watching you watched over by someone with a corrupt agenda. Their motivations are dark, whether they stem from greed, hatred, or jealousy. Don't go where they expect you to be on the day and time I have instilled in your spirit. It's simple to dismiss these feelings, believing that you're simply being paranoid, but God is trying to remind you to pay heed to that inner voice that keeps telling you not to disregard it. Avoid it whether it's a site you often visit or one you had planned to visit. This is a call to act wisely, not to live in terror. Your compliance with my warning will negate the effectiveness of their schemes. If their motivations are known, there are a variety of reasons why someone might be following you. Lean on me when you're feeling unsure or nervous. I will grant calm and clarity if you pray. You will be led by my spirit, who will provide you with an inexplicable feeling of insight that you can rely on. This indicates that God's angels are already in position to protect you even though the enemy has plans to harm you, someone has marked you for something, but if you follow God's instructions, he has already gone ahead and cancelled their plans. 1.2 Why are they following you? Pay attention to your surroundings. Keep an eye out for trends, odd conduct, or people who don't seem right. Awareness is a shield, 
and I will heighten your senses to perceive what needs to be seen. The enemy is using this individual to try to thwart God's intentions for your life. However, keep in mind that Psalm 91 verse 11 informs us because he will give his angels instructions to protect you at all times. Maybe someone close by has been acting strangely, or there have been subtle clues that didn't seem significant at the time, such cars following you or excessive inquiries about your location. As long as you remain behind the shield of God's wisdom, their schemes will fail, regardless of whether they are driven by envy, greed, or something darker. God's protection is active, strong, and unwavering, it is not passive. His angels are on duty, and as long as you stay under his protection, they won't allow anything bad to happen to you. The good news is that nothing is hidden from God, who sees everything. God shows you what they are planning behind closed doors. This warning is meant to awaken you, not to frighten you. They can be observing you out of jealousy, retaliation, or desire for something you possess such as financial gain, a chance, or even your relationship with someone. It's critical to understand that this tracking is deliberate and planned. But you must heed this warning, this person may have been close to you at one point, or they may be a complete stranger. Either way, their intentions are not aligned with God's will for your life. The enemy's plans can only be successful if we disregard the Holy Spirit's instructions. If God has revealed a specific date and time when danger is near, do not leave your home. Your comments have the ability to destroy the schemes of those who would do you harm. Recognize that although the opponent is crafty, they are not all-knowing. They have boundaries, but I have no boundaries. It is pointless for them to track and conspire against my sovereignty. The enemy uses fear to paralyze you and divert your attention from your goal. However, according to 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, I have given you a spirit of strength, love, and clear reasoning rather than one of fear, you are being urged to stand back, Pay close attention to what he has to say, and stay away from the area where this guy intends to attack. While it is natural to feel uneasy in moments like this, remember who you are and whose you are. You are my child, shielded by my promises and surrounded by my angels. They encamp around you, ready to intervene at my command. God is not only alerting you to this possibility, but also providing you with the knowledge to steer clear of it completely. This message should not be taken lightly. It is a shield offered before an attack, a gift of forewarning. You have a responsibility to listen, have faith, and behave sensibly while I protect you. The purpose of this circumstance is to make you stronger, not to hurt you. The divine protection over you, Chapter 2, how God is protecting you now, 2.1 God's protective hedge. Even if you can't see them, God has erected a hedge of protection around you at this very now. Hi Zong. God frequently communicates with us through uneasiness or caution. Something is most likely not correct if it doesn't feel right. Chapter 3 let me use this opportunity to remind you of how much I adore you. I actively participate in your life, planning every aspect to guarantee your success and safety rather than just watching from a distance. The time and date you have to stay away from, God's particular directive for you, 3.1 put this date and time in your calendar. Stay vigilant but not suspicious. Living in terror and exercising prudent care are two different things. Have faith that I will show you what you must see. Your biggest strength is communicating with me. I will grant you serenity and direction as you pray. In every choice, seek my counsel. God has made it very obvious that there is a certain time and date that you should not leave your house. It 
If necessary, postpone plans. If asked, alter your regimen. Minor modifications can have a big impact. You might be wondering why this is taking place. There are a few particular steps you must take to remain under God's godly protection, such as staying at home on the designated date and time. He has given you this warning for a reason, and why would someone try to hurt you or follow you? Your mission holds the key to the solution. The darkness is threatened by the light you bear. Your life is evidence of my goodness, and my plan directs your movements. When the opponent notices this, they attempt to interfere. But when you stand firmly in me, their efforts will always fail. If you've been feeling uneasy about particular individuals or situations, can be a day when you are more susceptible to an unplanned attack, or it might be a day when the person watching you is preparing something dangerous. This warning is about going deeper into the realization that you are loved, protected, and chosen, it's not simply about avoiding danger. Trust me, child. Nothing eludes me, and I see the finish from the beginning. Even if this moment is frightening, I have power over it. You may believe that the person tracking you is hidden, but I am aware of every move they make. No matter how well thought out their schemes are, they cannot compete with my strength. Our greatest tool is prayer. It helps you look beyond the material world and open your spiritual eyes. It also helps you avoid taking excessive risks and trust your instincts. Knowing that you are protected by God, go with assurance. I will use what the enemy wants to hurt you for your benefit. It's similar to a parent warning a child not to touch a hot stove because they risk getting burned if they do. Likewise, disregarding this divine directive may result in harm that could have been prevented. God warns us of the repercussions of disobedience, not to frighten us, but to keep us safe. On the other hand, we expose ourselves to needless risk when we disregard his advice. Remember that God's love for you is greater than any evil scheme, even if you're inclined to ignore this warning. He is warning you to give you the opportunity to prevent pain, not to frighten you. Type yes if you believe in God.